Hey, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to look into Azure Blueprints. My name is Sushant Suthish and I'm your trainer for this AZ303 certification course. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. So what is Azure Blueprints? Azure Blueprints enables cloud architects and central information technology groups to define a repeatable set of Azure resources that implements and adheres to organization standards, patterns, and requirements. Azure Blueprints make it possible for development teams to rapidly build and deploy new environments with the trust they are building within the organizational compliance using a set of built-in components, such as networking, to speed up the development and delivery. And Azure Blueprint is a declarative way to orchestrate the deployment of various resources, template, and other artifacts, such as role assignments, policy assignments, Azure Resource Manager templates, and resource groups. Azure Blueprints are also useful in Azure DevOps scenarios where blueprints are associated with specific build artifacts and release pipelines and can be tracked more rigorously. The process of implementing Azure Blueprint consists of the high-level steps like creating an Azure Blueprint, assigning the Blueprint, and track the Blueprint assignments. So let me show you where you can find Azure Blueprints in the Azure portal. I'm on my Azure portal. Go to the global search box and type in Blueprints and select Blueprints. This is where you would be able to create a brand new Blueprint or applying a scope and track an assignment as well. So with Blueprint, the relationship between the Blueprint definition and the Blueprint assignment is preserved. So definition is known as what should be deployed and the assignment is known as what was deployed. This connection supports improved deployment tracking and auditing. And the Azure Blueprint service is backed by the globally distributed Azure Cosmos database. And the Blueprint objects are replicated to multiple Azure regions. This replication provides low latency, high availability, and consistent access to your Blueprint objects, regardless of which region Blueprint deploys your resources to. Now let's look into how is Azure Blueprints differ from Azure policy. A blueprint is a package or container for composing focus-specific set of standards, patterns, and requirements related to the implementation of Azure Cloud Services, security, and design that can be reused to maintain consistency and compliance, wherein an Azure policy is a default allow and explicit deny system focused on resource properties during deployment and for already existing resources. It supports cloud governance by validating the resources within a subscription adhered to requirements and standards. And a policy can be included as one of many artifacts in Blueprint definition. And a Blueprints also support using parameters with policies and initiatives. So let me take you to the portal and show you how can you create a Blueprint. So I'm on my Azure portal. You go to the global search box and select the Blueprint. Once you're inside the Blueprint, this is where you would be able to create a new Blueprint. So I'm going to click on Blueprint Definitions and I'm going to click on Create a Blueprint. You can see the button on top of the page. As you can see that there are some sample Blueprints available. I'm going to click on Start with a Blank Blueprint. So first provide a blueprint name and on the definition box, select the ellipsis and select the management group or the subscription where you want to save the blueprint. In my case, I'm going to select the subscription and click on select. Next step is to click on artifacts. So I'm going to click on artifacts and click on add artifact. On the artifact type, I'm going to select role assignment and under the role, I'm going to select contributor. And you can leave the add user app or group box with the checkbox that indicates a dynamic parameter. Next, select add to add this artifact to the blueprint. The next step is I'm going to add a policy assignment at the subscription level. So I'm going to click on add artifact. And this time I'm going to select policy assignment. Because I'm going to create an artifact type as tag, I'm going to search for tag and search for a policy called append a tag and its value to the resource groups and click on add. 
So now we have to provide some value to this group. So select, so select the policy we just added. And this is the window to provide parameters to the artifact as part of the blueprint definition. So this example, we're using the dynamic parameters during the blueprint assignment. So you can leave the default here. I'm going to click on save. So next one more artifact I'm going to add is for subscription. I'm going to add one more artifact. This time click on add artifact and select resource group and click on add. Next time I'm going to add an Azure resource manager template and set the display name to storage account. After you provide the template name, so all you have to do is put down your template. So your sample template to create a storage account looks like this. So what you do, the next step is to copy and paste the template and click on add the template. And once your planned artifacts has been added, you can click on save as draft. That concludes the lesson on Azure Blueprints. In the next episode, we're going to look into Azure managed identities. I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care.